can, you too can map. Bog finds one. It's onto Arteezy, but he's got an Eclipse available. Doesn't want to blow it off the battle. BKB tries to fight this. Lucent Beam still holding the Eclipse. He's thinking about it. He even started to cast it, but ends up not. Track coming in now. Are they going to go for the Requiem on the respawn? Is the timing right? Yes, it is! They get Arteezy! What a pick! The timing! They're burning! They're looking for more of the jump. This could be the one big fight. Track going out the other way. The Death Lord's only the back. The back. The wall. for Secret, and now they on 430. Oh, he has the gem. He's got the gem. Even if he Bloodstone denies, it's a gem down. And Secret will snag it. And even after what looks like an amazing pick. With that Soul Ring that he got from the first Blood, he's just going to double Ion Shell and force Illidan back. And Illidan hasn't, doesn't have the region to deal with this. Yeah, they got the Silence on Zai. It will run out eventually, though. He'll get the Surge, FNG. Hoping to be able to get close enough for the Light Striker right there. Actually still close enough for a Cold Arrows. Maybe FNG can land this one. He's going to turn around with the double Ion Shell. Go straight for Lil. He's going to be able to pick up the kill. Unbelievable oh, play no by Zai. Way. He might even get out. out. He held potions up. Trying to dodge. Trying oh, to go the kill. kill. FNG almost there. Gets the kill. Two for one by Zai. What kind of monster are you, Zai? <laughs> they understand that they're in a better position right now. But this is still very cocky coming from them. One is uh, Pen's doing now over on no one. No one pops the BKB. BKB, wants to take down the Absurds. We'll leech some of this damage though away from the Absur. It's got that homing missile. They've got the Guardian Greaves. Not gonna be able to run that lion out. And now Naga goes, dodges, uses oh, the stop. This is it. This oh, is oh, oh, it. Zai, you absolute beast. Together with the Nisha sleep. What was that? VP, that. Oh. They both are tracked. Three Jinada. And he's gone. Mm. Oh boy, Tomato. Oh man, Zai is just running amok here. Did he die here? Did he overextend? No. No, no. I think he's still going to be able to get the kill on Tomato. Look at that. He's just gone. Moves. Toss back. They've got the Pangler ult team. Mace is here. Out. He wants to get this gold off of Zai. He would love to get some revenge right now, but look at this. He kept to catch him first. Can they get him in time? So oh we'll be able to disarm. They'll do another dust as he's trying. Look how fast he is. He just zips on out. Toss out. Can they finish up? This is oh, oh, oh my no. God. Jesus. Oh my God. Mason now has to run out. Nisha is not playing around here. Zai. There's one moment. Notice. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon's has already prop crit living through this one, trying to find the follow-up. It's gonna be there. They take that one. They are going to possibly... No, they can't get two males. He's looking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto RTZ. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it gonna be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now... as long as possible to stall the BKB for the long duration in the later stages, and now he's actually six. I mean, it's understandable that he has to feel the need for a BKB this it will make him. It will make him immortal. He will, there's no way he'll die if he has that BKB, unless it's you know, a cooldown, of course. Zai versus FNG. Back to the poison, but not enough. He does have the Greaves and the BKB, Zai, if he feels threatened. Greaves pop to remove the silence. Does also have FNG, uh, sorry, Puppy heading over. He's going to jump in Zai! Oh, it's a pop! Positioning absolutely perfect from size. He gets right in between the two. Can they finish up the kills? Now that's another question. With the back of a Yaps on mid one, yes, they can jump in from the Monkey King. They'll finish up both of them as a frame perfect black hole from Zai sets up two kills for Secret. Sinister Gaze, S4, he's got Ravage if they want to move forward into this one. The boat to try and follow it. They have the break and now the toss back onto the Tide Hunter with the Ami Sachi Silence. He can't crack it, show it off. He wasn't able to do anything. He has buyback if they want to continue with this fight. So the Snowball putting him into position. Crit very low on HP and it looks like EG is going to have to back out. They also lose oh the God. Lich. Artini's on the high ground. He's stuck up on the high ground of the Avalanche, the top. They got him caught! Our 
TZ, where are you gonna go? Clipped up in trouble, but S4 buys back. He wants to deal his damage, but he can't do anything. They're too far away from him. That Terrorblade is stuck up there, and Sumail left all alone to his own devices. They can't do anything at all. Where's your damage? It's up too high. They want to pull the fight back over to this side of the engagement, but it's not happening. He's still up there. Evil Genius is gonna lose their carry in the most tragic of ways as S4 just wants a little help, but it's not coming. Oh, no, 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 no. The torrent, the Ava, the toss, and the destruction. Oh my god, that was with the S4 and the crit buyback. This this could just be the game. Zai with the most game-winning vacuum on the high ground. Oh, that would be massive. You expect them to head down to that bottom tier two, try and gank the Monkey King and turn that. This would be massive if they just get this for free. This is Secret's Roshan. Oh, look at Secret. They're going to try and smoke under the Roshan pit. It's going to break it. No, they're in there. Now they're going to be able to get some damage out, but the Roshan is going to go back. It's going to be on the floor. It brings them all. He's enjoying so much damage. They're almost dead. They've killed so much. Secret just overwhelmed. BG Gaming inside the pit. They do manage to get out the primal split for Yang, but now he's just trying to get outside with a game-saving maneuver with that RP. Pretty much back to even short. They lost the tier three in the mid lane secret, but they didn't lose any racks. They've taken the tier three, of course, earlier away from Nick, but the game, it's, it's, it's back to, to something quite insane here at 42 minutes. Could absolutely still go either way. It's mid lane. They are with the attack, but Zion, Nisha, they're in, and there's the jump point. Nisha, he's doing so much damage. They've got to get away from this line. His pony, his miracle has already brought down to less than half HP. Pops the shadow up for the stun. But Nisha catches him. And Kuro, Kuro's gone. Nisha building up these blood stain charges over towards mind control. Isolated and alone. He'll attempt to run, but four heroes of secret chase him down. Mind control's gone. Nisha with the triple kill. Nisha, he has just played this game so darn cool. Okay, I'll tell you where it breaks down it's when both quarries arrive and one one team types you first right then it's just done it's never happened mm -hmm. oh, 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 look at that he waits perfectly catching free and the follow-up will be too big the gg comes outside on point with this shaker ensuring that secret take a 2-0 over tnc that's the offline life you know you get the perfect Three-man Echo, five-man Fisher Stun. Because of this map Dyer's control that they've had top. for the most part of the game. So look at this sigil. It's, it's slowing down the bear a lot. The call is actually going to be able to go off. And oh my god, an odd skin. He just gets deleted almost immediately. The bear is still going to die. Limp is forced to use his BKB here. And the sigil still keeping the chase up. Nico Baby's going to be running down the two supports here. And Puppy is going to be the first to go down. Size just being poked at by S4 right now. Matumba Man, his bear coming back into play here. It's going to stall up S4. Hoping to be able to keep his axe alive. Bouncing around is the Omni Slash. It sticks onto the illusions, unfortunately. Real one. More fling. On the run here, low on mana, doesn't have a way out of this one. He's just going to be slowly burned down unless Matumba Man can somehow save him. Maybe Absor as well. He's got enough to be able to jump out with a waveform. Call going in. Now with the egg on the side here. Oh dear, Zai, he actually gets the call and he runs away. He's still alive through all of this one. Nico Baby, he charges in with the egg swell, but that's just an Aeon disc on Yapsor. He's going to continue to slow down Nico Baby. Zai, he beats him around the corner. He says, are you looking for me, punk? And that's all his eye lives throughout the whole thing. He's the one who's getting gone. As Nigma start to force back the bear, the trap from Weeha slowing him down. Weeha being able to help out from the grave. Matu will fall. And GH, he's even controlling Yapso. Yapso still has the astral step to jump out as well as the dissimulate. But is Secret having to retreat here from Nigma? But it's all Oh, he's straight back in. It's a beautiful slam onto the two of them. Straight away blows up Miracle and gets GH2. Oh my god. 2,800 damage. <laughs> Nowhere. They're, they're, they're on the, there's a, a perfect fake back there from Secret. They're on the retreat. Nigma was chasing them down like, yeah, that's right. If the yeah. two heroes are forced to interact, then Urso wins the matchup. And Whisper's like, I'm not going to allow you to hit my spin. You'll set up to the pull, and they're going to bring down the puck with the help of the Global wow. Silence. Snowball in, looking for more. They get the punch, they get the... Oh, no! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. oh my... God. I mean, we did say... If there's a vacuum... Oh. Uh, they were just about to get that like last right click to kill him and the vacuum uh, interrupted it. Holy cow. Very hard to catch up to Nisha for sure here as Toronto Tokyo has the horsey ready to go. Double damage bottled as well. So we'll see if he wants to get active. Right, that was addition. a multi-purpose mid TP. That was oh, pretty nice. We have a haunt coming out. Mira looks like he's going to get dropped by, by Nisha. Yataro in the meantime taking out Puppy. So it's a one for one on just the supports. Pokoshka 
in the trees will likely fall next, although Yataro has something to say about that potentially. Coming in from the downside of the trees here. So going for that Aghanim Scepter. Yeah, Toronto Tokyo Tokyo might want to do something here with the DD. Fine. Yeah, skewer out to safety for Toronto Tokyo with that double damage. RP on the two! Beautifully timed from Zai into the Fable. That is going to be a super easy kill for Toronto Tokyo. And now Yataro not reciprocating the high five at all. Trying to TP out. Oh, oh my god, how much HP did he have? Barely gets out. Toro. Zai's just really looking to just bother him. He's <laughs> walking under the tower. I mean, the push is going to have something to say about that with the stun, but Zai. He's fine. Thank you. HP here on the tiny. He's able to walk it off mid lane. And for Toronto Tokyo, Mira will come across from the ten. Puppy. Toronto Tokyo safe and alive. Zai. Go for the kill. He's got him. Zai. He's, a, <laughs> uh, he's actually going to get away as well. I think he's going to go look for the neutral deny Zai. He'll get himself a quick trip back to base. Oh as he my. gets the kill and he gets out. The splash damage. He threw the tree at the Dusa, so that 200% splash plus the combo. He was baiting them so hard, too. He was very close to him dying on the way to heart. And as we mentioned at the start of the game, it's quite a free PL game. He's able to start getting this. He gets hard. One of the damage points. They get a grip, oh. though, with the vision that they have from that high ground. The down tree into all. Oh, Matu! But Zai. Oh, he's out with the doppel. He's over to the bane. Matu's gonna live. Zai, the savior with the Orchid. And that, they're, not, they're, they're gonna maybe lose Yatora as well. Is he trying to run? Pretty much has Butterfly done, maybe so more physical damage. He's going for a mixed build. And Zai's having fun. Zai. Yeah, ever musical one here. Da 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 da. Beautiful.